गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वी डिस्कस द पर्टिकुलर क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ निमाटोड अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर फीडिंग हैबिट सो निमाटोड्स आर ब्रॉडली कैटेगराइज इन टू दू ग्रुप्स वन इज अब ग्राउंड फीडर निमाटोड दे आर फीडिंग ऑन द अब ग्राउंड द प्लांट पार्ट एंड द अनदर ग्रुप दैट इज दे आर फीडिंग ऑन द बिलो ग्राउंड मीन्स दे आर मेनली दे आर फीडिंग ऑन द रूट सिस्टम okay so the above ground uh, uh, nematodes are like seed girl nematode the first uh, plant parasitic nematode which was uh, first time reported by nidham that is seed girl nematode anguina they are feeding on the foliar part means they are feeding on the the, uh, the ear head of the particular wheat crops so they are considered as a foliar nematode and they are feeding on above ground plant part the second one is stem and bulb nematode detailancus there are uh, the uh, different species are also there like retailancus angustus disalancus gypsaki and it is known as a stem and bulb nematode they are feeding on the foliar part and it is a it's feeding on the onion uh, and uh, it is also cause uh, the ufra disease in rice thereafter the another nematode that is foliar nematode aphylancoides it is also known as leaf and bud nematode because this nematode cause a uh, white tip disease of rice they are feeding on the leaf of a particular rice crop it is also cause a leaf spot in uh, particularly strawberry there after trunk nematodes so this is the bursa aphylancus there is a two species bursa aphylancus xylophilus and bursa aphylancus coccophilus one is on uh, 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 the particular both the uh, both the nematodes or both the species are feeding on the trunk of the uh, plant there after we are talking about the below ground uh, uh, feeder nematodes so we can categorize into the two broad category sedentary and migratory sedentary and migratory means those nematodes they are feeding on a one place they cannot move from one place to another place they create a feeding site at at around their uh, the buccal cavity or their uh, mouth uh, part but they are feeding from the one place one place they can feed okay in migratory they are feeding from one place to another field for feeding purpose they can migrate okay so these are considered as a migratory parasitic thereafter these nematodes are another there is a three category endoparasitic semi endoparasitic and ectoparasitic uh, ectoparasitic endoparasitic means whole body of the nematode within the plant tissue okay semi endo means uh, some of the body part means neck region or head region within the plant system and remaining body outside the plant system that is called as semi endoparasitic nematode the third category that is ectoparasitic nematodes and they are feeding uh, from the plant plant by the ectoparasitically means body is ki any body bare rest se plant system ke andar nahi jayegi body apni plant system ke andar feed na kare ye body puri aankhi bare rehwani chahiye and only the stylet Uh, will be goes inside the the plant system so accordingly we are uh, focus on uh, the important uh, the examples like first we are taking the endoparasitic nematode under the category of sedentary so there is a very good example of root knot nematode that is meladogyne the female within the plant system because uh, there is a sexual dimorphism in the female is in another form is it is a pyriform or it is a melon shaped Uh, that's why she cannot move from one place to another place that's why it is a sedentary phase and uh, it, it will it creates some gain and uh, the nerve cells so that uh, the the female can feed from the one place they cannot move from one place to another place a female ek jagya rehwani chhe feeding mate jagya change karwani nahi that's why it is uh, under the category of sedentary uh, endoparasitic Another example that is cis nematode heterodera globodera. They are also sedentary in nature. They cannot move from one place to another place. Thereafter, same in endoparasitic condition. There is a two uh, good example like lizard nematodes, patilancus. They create some lizards on the roots. That's why it is called as lizard nematodes. They are migratory endoparasitic nematode. Endoparasitic and migratory. They move from one place to another place. That's why. they create some lesion into the plant tissue in the root of plant tissue thereafter the another example that is burrowing nematodes 
and it is a it is a known as a radophilus radophilus simplis cause a toppling disease in banana and this nematodes create a tunnel means जहां से वो घुसेगा वो फीड करता हुआ आगे बढ़ता रहेगा और पीछे टनल छोड़ देगा ज्या फीड करवा प्लांट सीस्टम अंदर वही जाए पे ज्या ज्या फरसे त्या त्या टनल तैयार बरो तैयार देर आफ्टर दी अनादर कैटेगरी देट इज सेमी एंडो पेरासाइटिक निमैटो तो फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस दैमी एंडो पेरासाइटिक अंडर दी सेडेंट्री फेज सो देर इज अ गुड एक्जाम्पल ऑफ सिट्रस निमैटो टाइल एंडकुलस सेमी पेनीट्रांस this nematode is a having a very long neck within the plant tissue that's why this nematode cannot move one place to another place it this nematode is also having a sexual dimorphism uh, and uh, it is a, a pouch with a neck uh, long neck having in this particular nematode tilenculus semi penetrans nematode the another nematode that is rainy form nematode or the kidney shaped nematodes the females also having the sexual dimorphism that's why the females looks like a kidney and uh, the head region of particular this nematode within the plant tissue that's why this nematode cannot move from one place to another place thereafter in the migratory nematode there is a lens nematodes there is a stunt nematode haplolemus and tilenculus there are migratory semi endoparasitic nematode because the head region of this nematode is also within the plant system that's why uh, this nematode is uh, under the uh, migratory endoparasitic uh, sorry migratory semi endoparasitic nematode now talking about the ectoparasitic nematode means this nematode cannot goes inside the plant system only the stylet or the stylet or the buccal uh, the stylet and the mouth part within the plant system and it is under the sedentary phase because this nematode like trico nematodes ring nematode and seeth nematode hemicyclophora both are a very sluggish in nature because due to their cuticular markings and cuticular uh, the uh, formation uh, means they have a, a very uh, what we can say that there is a um, scales and spines present on the cuticles that's why these nematodes cannot move fastly or that's why they are very sluggish and they are feeding uh, from the nematode as a uh, uh, ectoparasitically and this nematode having a very long stylet that's why they can uh, they can stay one place and then feeding from a different cell and different uh, part of the plant there after uh, the ectoparasitic means migratory ectoparasitic nematode like dagger nematode and all dory limbed nematodes like needle nematode they are considered as a as a migratory ectoparasitic nematode so this is very good Uh, these are the examples uh, which in uh, in which you can understand the above ground and below ground feeder nematodes and it is a very good uh, and it is a very important uh, chapter in your course and many times uh, it is asking by the examiner the examples are also asking common name and scientific name is also asking which type of uh, the parasitism and which type of feeding habit present in particular these nematodes and uh, in a uh, long questions they are also uh, uh, ask you uh, just like a classification of nematode according to their feeding habit uh, of plant parasitic nematode so thank you very much